Grandma and Grandpa might soon be hitting you up for help. Come January 1st, tens of thousands of Maryland state retirees are getting booted out of the state prescription plan. They're going to have to use Medicare instead, and that could cost them a lot more. Bruce Lashan reports many of them are steaming mad. Right, take it easy, son. Scores of retirees rallied outside of Walgreens in Hagerstown. Oh, I'm very upset. Since I retired, I've ended up with lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and thyroid condition. I take new toe medicine. Without this, it's going to cost me dearly. They are furious at word that they will soon be off the state prescription plan. So this is going to cost me about $200 a month additional on top of my what I'm already paying. A month? A month. They've got to sign up for Medicare Part D instead. Medicare. You get Medicare. How much does it pay? <laughs> Not enough. Come January 1st, I'm going to be paying $500 a month for the, the same medication. Didn't know about this until May 15th. My wife is on three they inhalers. Weren't given a letter. They didn't know. Hers now is going to go to $1,300 a month come here. January 1st. The move will save Maryland millions, maybe billions of dollars over the long run. Also, oh, now the benefits changed after the fact. The conservative state delegate from this area says. It is just not right. The general impression is it's the Democrats that worry about the social safety net. In this case, you're saying a Tea Party Republican is out worrying about retirees. Well, we need to be fiscally responsible, but this is not just a social safety net. This is a promise to Maryland State employees who are now retired, and now we're saying, yeah, forget it. Just extending coverage for one more year would cost Maryland an extra $60 million. Short of a miracle, this is a done deal. When they take this away from us, what else are they going to take away from us? In Hagerstown. Very worried. Very. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. Now the change only hits retirees eligible for Medicare Part D, but there are thousands of them. A spokesman for the state budget office says the governor is working with legislators to try and come up with a plan to help ease the pain.